And a big hello to my Oceana family. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Corey Powell, one of your cruise directors here at Oceana Cruises. And once again, it is that time for our weekly trivia. And I am presenting it here live, uh, here in Forest Park in St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, of course, my hometown, as many of you know. And I, it's a beautiful day here in the park, so I thought I'd come out here and do trivia here. Um, so right behind me, we have the Art Museum. You can see that uh, over my shoulder. And this area is called Art Hill. Very popular, especially in the winter time, uh, because the hill behind me, uh, once it snows, it's the prime spot in St. Louis for sledding. So a very popular spot there. It's actually a beautiful day today. A lot of people are out today. So you may see, I don't know, a random child or animal dog run behind me so uh, we are here live here in st. Louis all right so our business of the day it is trivia time and I have 15 questions for you and uh, today we're gonna do sports and recreation that's right sports and recreation sports and leisure or leisure as some of you call Now, um, if you've played trivia with me before on board, you know that with my sports questions, I do try to avoid uh, national sports, especially American national sports, because we have guests from all over the world who love to play trivia. And sometimes they feel like it's a little unfair if I do all baseball, American football, and basketball questions. Um, so I do like to uh, do some more obscure sports or some uh, different information about sports that are familiar to you. So so uh, let's get started. All right, so let's start with question number one. A very familiar sport uh, to people all around the world. The category is sumo wrestling. All right, are we ready for this? All right, here's your question. Question number one. If a sumo wrestler ties up his chanmagi, what is he tying up? Once again, if a sumo wrestler ties up his chanmagi, what is he tying up? I'll spell chanmagi for you. C-H-O-N-M-A-G-E, chanmagi. If a sumo wrestler ties up his chanmagi, what is he tying up? I'll give you a moment to think of your answer. And ladies and gentlemen, our answer for question number one, a chanmagi is the hair knot of a sumo wrestler. That's right, his hair knot, his ponytail, his uh, man bun, if you will. All right, so as long as it has something to do with hair, if you got that right, congratulations. Question number two, which professional sport has the highest ratio of officials to participants? Once again, which professional sport has the highest ratio of officials to participants. I'll give you a, some time to answer that question. Okay, so that professional sport with the highest uh, ratio for, for officials to participants is in tennis. A singles tennis match has 13 officials to the two participants. Congratulations if you got that right. All right, moving on to question number three. All right, so we're doing some sports and ancient history. And of course, we're going to the history of the Olympics. In which ancient Greek city did the Olympics begin? Once again, in which ancient Greek city did the Olympics begin? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you said Olympia, you are correct. Congratulations, Olympia in Greece, the ancient city. Well, that was the birthplace of the Olympics. All right, moving on to question number four. We're back in tennis on question number four. What city is home to the Australian Open in tennis? Once again, what city is home to the Australian Open in tennis? Take a moment to think about it and answer.
All right, the answer I am looking for is Melbourne in Australia. Melbourne, Australia. Congratulations if you got that one correct. All right, we're moving on to our next sport and that is swimming. All right, a swimming question. In swimming, which swimming stroke is swum first in an individual medley event? Once again, which swimming stroke is swum first in an individual medley event? Keyword, individual. Take your time to think about that answer. Okay, if you said the backstroke, that is incorrect. In an individual medley swimming event, the butterfly is swum first. Uh, the backstroke is swum first in a relay. All right, so individual is the butterfly. All right, moving on to question number six. Number six. Oh, we're going to table games here on number six. All right, so what table game was created by French mathematician Blaise Pascal which he discovered when doing experiments in perpetual motion. Once again, what table game was created by French mathematician Blaise Pascal while doing experiments in perpetual motion? Take a moment to think about that answer. And the answer I am looking for, of course, roulette. All right, so roulette invented by Blaise Pascal. Perpetual motion going round and round. All right, so moving on to question number seven. Number seven. All right, so we're going to be talking about sporting trophies on this question. What is the world's oldest international sporting trophy? Once again, what is the world's oldest international sporting trophy? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the world's oldest international sporting trophy is the America's Cup. Yes, in yacht racing. So the America's Cup is the world's oldest international sporting trophy. All right, so continuing on with question number eight. Number eight. All right, so another nautical term I'm looking for here in sports. What nautical term is also the term used for the last runner or swimmer in a relay race. Once again, what nautical term is used also as the term for the last runner or swimmer in a relay race? If you guessed the anchor, that is correct. The anchor is the last runner or swimmer in a relay race. All right, so moving on to question number nine. Number nine, we're in the world of boxing. All right, so let's go to some famous Muhammad Ali boxing matches. Who did Muhammad Ali fight in the notorious Rumble in the Jungle in 1974? Once again, who did Muhammad Ali fight in the notorious Rumble in the Jungle in 1974. And ladies and gentlemen, if you answer George Foreman, that is correct, George Foreman. Uh, is the answer, uh, the other participant in the Rumble in the Jungle in 1974. Okay, moving on to question number 10. Number 10, we're going to golf. What is the maximum number of golf clubs that can be used in a golf tournament? Once again, what is the max number of golf clubs that can be used in a golf tournament?
Ladies and gentlemen, if you answered 14, 14 is the correct answer. So congratulations if you got that one. All right, so we're moving on to number 11. Let's go to horse racing on number 11. This type of horse race began as a contest which raced toward a church. Once again, this type of horse race began as a contest which the racers raced toward a church. Take a moment to think about that one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the answer I'm looking for is the steeplechase. Of course, the steeple of a church, so steeplechase is the correct answer. Congratulations if you got that correct. I'm going to have to speed this up. I'm losing my sunlight here. All right, so moving on to number 12. Number 12, let's go to the National Hockey League. Yes, to my Canadian friends, this question is for you. The National Hockey League, this is a yes or no answer. All right, so you have a 50-50 chance on this. Women have played in the National Hockey League. Yes or no? Or true or false, if you want to go for true or false. Yes or no, women have played in the National Hockey League. Take a moment to think about it. And we're back with the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer I am looking for is yes. Women have played in the National Hockey League goalie Manon Réaume in 1992 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. She just did a, a, a little bit of a season, but still she made it to the NHL, the uh, first woman to play in the NHL. So congratulations to you if you got that right. And Congratulations to Manon Réaume. All right, so moving on to question number 13. 13, we're going to the world of billiards here and pocket billiards, a little pool for you. What color is, is the number one ball in a traditional pocket billiard set? Once again, what color is the one ball in a tradi traditional pocket billiards set? Take a moment to think about that. Okay, the answer I am looking for is yellow. Yes, the one ball is yellow in a traditional pocket billiard set. All right, so we're moving on to question number 14. 14, uh, we're going to baseball. Yes, um, the American sport of baseball. Now, many of you non-Americans might be rolling your eyes right now, uh, but this one's gonna be easy for you because I am looking for a historical player synonymous with home runs. Who was the first baseball player to hit a home run in the All-Star Game. Who was the first baseball player to hit a home run in the All-Star Game? Take a moment to think about that. Remember, historical home run hitter. And we're back with the answer, and of course, this player hit the first home run in the All-Star Game in 1933. His name, Babe Ruth. All right, congratulations if you got that right. All right, so uh, moving on to number 15. Number 15, well, we're going to a popular sport in a, um, I don't know, a specialized area. Um, what is the most popular sport played in a nudist resort? That's right, what is the most popular sport played in a nudist resort? Take a moment to think about that. Also picture it, ladies and gentlemen, it helps. Okay, the answer I'm looking for, the most popular sport played at a nudist resort is volleyball. Bump, set, spike, yeah. 
Bump said spike something there. All right, so we're moving on to, that's 15 questions actually. Those are our 15 questions. I have a bonus question for you and I'm losing my son here. Uh, bonus question, I'm gonna to try to lean back so you can still get a good look at my beautiful head. Uh, question, our bonus question, there's three answers. Uh, deals with sports and the movies. There have only been, been three films to win the Best Picture Oscar at the Academy Awards that have been sports movies. What are the three sports movies to have won Best Picture at the Academy Awards? This is your bonus, and give yourself a point for each correct answer. Think about it, talk about it with your friends, call a friend if you need to. Uh, you can do that uh, in, the, in the pleasure of your own house, but you know on board that's not allowed. Um, but think about that question. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and the answer I am looking for, the three films to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards that were also sports films. They are Rocky, Chariots of Fire, and Million Dollar Baby. If you got those, or even one of those, congratulations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a great time with this set of trivia for this week's trivia. Once again, I'm Corey Powell, one of your cruise directors here at Oceana Cruises, and I wish we were here in person. I wish we were at sea. I am missing it just like you are. We will be back soon, and I can't wait to see each and every one of you live in person at Trivia. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.